So it just got deployed on the fire. Uh, we have uh, been attached to Division Bravo. Uh, we're going to be doing a burnout tonight uh, with the hot with the hotshot crew, uh, supporting them. So we're filling up. Uh, this is a portable tank that we use uh, for uh, uh, the smaller engines and whoever needs water to get water. We're using a small two-stroke pump called a Mark III pump right over here, which is pulling water right out of the stream and pumping in. We're also supporting uh, the shot crew with a hand line over here. If you look through here, you might be able to see the fire. It's just starting to become very active and kind of might be getting away from us. So uh, we've got a, uh, a big dozer in reserve right here. It's a, uh, looks like a seven high drive. Uh, things get really hairy, but uh, it's just getting started. It's gonna be a long night and uh, we should see some pretty active fire. So uh, I'll bring you along and show you what I can. So it's hard to explain what we're doing here, but uh, if you see this road, this is a kind of an improved uh, cat line or old cat road. Uh, we are trying to uh, stop the fire here. It's coming from that direction and we're expecting a low pressure zone or uh, weather is to change. When low pressure comes in, usually that means really increased wind and we could lose everything that we've done if we don't get this area taken care of. So. We're uh, brushing this out in here back into 100 feet. That's where you see all the saws and I'm pulling all the brush and the cats and the skitters and all of that because uh, the hot shot, warm spring hot shots are gonna come through here. And no, I think they're light this with a helicopter. Hopefully, that's something you don't get to see very often. It uh, shoots out these little ping pong balls, these flaming ping pong balls and it'll fly along there and light this whole thing off. So what we're trying to do is just harden this line up to make sure at all costs that it doesn't get over here. Because if it gets over here and gets away from us, everything we've done here for a week is going to be for naught. So that is kind of a quick synopsis of what we're trying to do here. So there's about uh, 400 herd of cattle up here and so the cowboys have been working here all week uh, trying to pull the cattle down uh, so they don't get in the fire. Okay. 
So the ground is so hot after our bird out when we're doing the mop up that the water that we put on, even the very mud boils. I want to show you one of the coolest machines I've seen up here. There's tire chains, and then there's these. My goodness, look at this thing. You think there's anywhere this skitter couldn't go? This is a called a skitter. It's commonly used out here. Actually, this is a skidgen. Uh, but correct me, it's got a water tank on the back and a grappler, so it can carry probably uh, 500 gallons of water, maybe 700 gallons of water. Look at that thing, it's got its own fire pump. Very cool. Here's a skeeter cat. Impressive. You know something I really don't like is when your foam system feeds back into your tank. And you get to have a bubble bath. Best job in the world, this. my apple in the dirt. I was really looking forward to eating it. But you know the reality of it is is that it's a whole different level of what's acceptable as far as cleanliness goes out here. So this apple is completely acceptable. So I just returned home last late last night after uh, three uh, tough 16-hour shifts, and you know it's I was putting this video together and um, the emotions it, it, it invokes for me is uh, it's hard to explain. It, this video is completely disjointed. Uh, the, I guess the thing is is that when I'm there, I'm not there to to video, I'm not there to try to tell that story, I just don't have the ability, my mind is not on it, I'm there to work and to get a job done and I share what, what bits I share, I share what I can. It's hard to explain and it's impossible to put into, the, I guess the emotion into the video of what it's like to work with these folks, these men and, men and women um, and the bond that is formed uh, on such a short, over short, such a short period of time. I don't know if it's uh, working together for a common goal. I don't know if it's maybe perhaps those personalities that are drawn to this type of work um, are, are kind of a, of a kindred nature. Mrs. Rango Star, call you honey, I'll call you right back. Um, I don't know what it is. You know, less, if you haven't heard already, I'm sure everyone has this on the national news, there was a fire just to, to the north of here where three wildland firefighters uh, lost their lives and four of them or were injured, they were overtaken by a fire. And, and nobody knows all the details right now, they haven't released them, but last night, the, the division supervisor, Gas, uh, 
he gathered the whole division together, which was a great multitude of people, and um, broke the news because we'd been on the fire line and we didn't have access to, to uh, media. And I didn't know these people, uh, but I feel, a, I, I feel a, a great loss and sadness um, because I, I guess maybe I understand, I guess I understand them. It's hard to explain. It's a tragic and sad thing, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. And it's so sad, and my heart goes out to those families. I've got uh, I've got more video um, of the of the actual firing with the hot shot hot shots that uh, I'll put together in part two. And uh, I think you'll enjoy that. I'll get that together for you tomorrow. So thank you for your support. Um, and we'll see you guys on the next video.